all right guys I thought I would just show you a quick little view before I start filling this can up this is the um, next storybook tin that I'm working on and it's really cute it's got little hearts and birds and it's been used before it's got a little scratch there anyway I I am sort of going by the colors the hearts and I love her little outfit you can tell she's definitely a fashionista very modern so my thinking behind putting this one together love these patterns on her skirt here look at her red um, uh, what do you call those nylons uh, red what do you call those things I forgot anyway those <laughs> Okay, I would have to ask my niece. She remembers, but it's just so cute. Um, not that my niece wears that. She's rather a tomboy, kind of, <laughs> more so than anything. But I think this outfit is even a little bit, you know, it's girly, but there's also something about her that is not overly girly. Love the red lips and the black hair. Almost feels a bit anime-ish. Could be, sort of. I'm pushing it, I know. But yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. So, so far in there, I've got some hearts and um, some beads um, from some uh, former projects, supply kits. I've got a little, I think that's like from Forever 21 or something, Rue 21. I don't know, guys. I really don't know because I don't ever shop for young people in terms of clothes. So I'm way out of the loop, like so out of it. Um, and then a little card. But I'm just throwing down little bits and pieces now. I'm going to fill this um, glass guitar um, that had an original cork stopper in there, but it's so old. So I'm just going to take an old wine um, stopper and, um, and, and pop that in there, cut it out and pop it in there. And I think I might put some buttons in there, really tiny, itty, little bitty buttons. But the colors are going to be oranges and reds and pinks teals and greens because there's a lot of teal on here right look at the flowers on her on her skirt wait hold on there we go so I've picked out some patterns that I think would be a lot of fun so this would be a really cool um, uh, storybook junk journaling box um, and I haven't quite given it a name yet but I'm thinking for a young girl who is in high school or junior high who loves fashion and color um, who loves designing things maybe he or she actually let me correct myself might be interested in I got these pretty fabrics from a uh, Carla Frizzell this one and this purple and I think there's a blue in there right and then I put another one of these old folk patches that might not be so old folk because look at the patterns on her skirt, right? So you can see the influence that the tan is sort of having on my um, my choosings, my pickings. <laughs> and then I've, I'm going to put some yellow thread in there. That's not from the yellow kit. And by the way, that yellow pack is still available if anybody's interested. Just ask. Okay, and then there's some rainbow going on there. I do have some rainbow ribbon. Um, I'm kind of trying to save this for kid packs, but I want the kid packs to be serious kid packs. So I have some rainbow ribbon um, that, you know, I could put in there. But I don't think this is, this is that rainbow-ish. You know what I'm saying? It's not, these are the traditional kids kind of colors or you know whatever um, but I do have some of this that I'm gonna put in there okay and there's the brand right there so it's really pretty so I'm gonna put some of that in there because these colors the only thing I'm having a hard time with so far is struggling with orange because I am not an orange person and never have been. I think orange is the coolest word ever, that there's no word that rhymes with it. <laughs> and this, you know, I don't know, there might be some black rappers out there because Lord knows they're like black Shakespearean guys um, who can come up with all kinds of words and phrases to make anything 
come together poetically but I don't really have a lot of orange so I'm I'm struggling a little bit so far but this is just where I am um, so far and let me put the whole top on here so that you can see the top of it too it's just such a cute tan I'm having so much fun with these I'm gonna keep doing them so yeah um, here's the top of it there she is and she's got yellow and lo lo love the uh, headscarf right um, I may have to do some research and try to find some um, other tins like these with you know with some of our brown girls on them so that would be really fun too and it does have wear but it's in such beautiful condition it's just really fun putting these together when will I have this one together um, I don't know I, I'm in school guys I've got a lot to do and well I'll update you guys on the future for me because I, I, I think I told you guys I'm applying for a PhD program and I got to get really 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 serious now that doesn't mean I'm going anywhere in terms of just disappearing off the edge of earth <laughs> I'm not doing it's not going to be that extreme but it will be um, sort of I just you know once like when school is in I'm not here as much I can't be um, it's going to be even more so okay so just kind of you know and I'll let you guys know I'm not just gonna abandon uh, YouTube and just leave you guys hanging I'll always have my Etsy shop for sure um, it's just you know it just may come a time where I won't be doing as many um, YouTube videos and I have not been accepted yet in the program so all this said and I like to take you guys on my journey and share things with you um, that's that just goes to tell you that um, nothing is written in stone quite yet not yet oh and by the way this fabric here this is from my great Amy's estate you can go back and look at some videos where I put this in several kits it's poppies that's probably the last of it I have if I haven't saved you know a piece for myself um, that's probably yeah the last little bit of it so I'm still working on this one and it is so much fun all right guys I gotta say goodbye and I hope you guys are doing something fun creative and wherever you're located wherever your home is and where you reside or where you travel and sit you know kind of squat for a hot minute I hope you're having a safe and um, healthy um, good time okay that's all I have to say all right guys adios sale pues orale pues bye